previously on the Wonder Reviews Pokemon Detective Pikachu. If there's anything we can learn from this movie, is that at least it gives us hope for the upcoming movies based on a video game. Maybe the upcoming films like Five Nights at Freddy's or the Minecraft movie might turn out as good as Detective Pikachu. And the answer is no, the upcoming Sonic movie is not going to work. It is doomed to fail even with the new redesign based on story. Okay, so I might have overreacted on that part. The old design was still rubbing it off on me, and this was before I saw the update. I'm pretty sure everyone knows what I'm talking about. When people saw the teaser trailer of the Sonic the Hedgehog movie, they hated the design of the iconic Sega Max guy. The limbs were too muscular, the teeth looked hideous, and the entire design was a nightmare fuel when it tries desperately hard to make him look realistic. But then something happened that we never thought we would never hear. The makers of the movie listen to the backlash and decide to update Sonic to stay true to the character. In other words, they are taking feedback before they release the final cut. And thanks to that, the producers decided to postpone the film from November 2019 to February 2020. I guess I should start off by making some personal connections that I play a few Sonic games, but I'm not a huge fan of him, I'm just a casual fan. I mostly watch some of his cartoons like Sonic Sat AM and Sonic X, but I play some of his games. I actually enjoy playing Sonic Heroes, Dr. Robotnik's Bean Machine, and a few of the Mario and Sonic Olympic games on the Nintendo DS. And yes, I was even one of the poor souls that played Sonic 06 and later incinerated. But no matter how many games he made, whether they're good or bad, Sonic the Hedgehog is still a popular video game character. But even after I saw the redesign on its first trailer, I still felt skeptical about actually seeing this movie. Just because a design looks good doesn't mean it can make the story or movie equally good. The story and design work differently by themselves. But seeing how everybody's been talking about this movie in terms of audiences, critics, fans, and even box office record as the highest grossing movie based on a video game, it was my turn to talk about this movie. So welcome to another episode of The Wonder Reviews. Let's see if this movie can pick up the pace. This is the Sonic the Hedgehog movie. It starts off with Sonic running away from some bad guys because of his incredible speed. So he uses one of his rings to transport into another world. Our world. He accidentally caused a power outage and now he's being hunted by Dr. Robotnik, played by Jim Carrey. But a cop, played by James Marsden, made Sonic lose his ring so he can't leave Earth and move to another safe world. So the two decide to go on a road trip together to find his rings before Robotnik kills them. Obviously, I'm going to address the elf in the room, the redesign. This new look is 10 times better than the prototype version. This is what you imagine what Sonic will look like in live action. He even moves great no matter how fast he goes. Whenever he runs, he can actually have some creative moments rather if he fights or just wants to have fun. I'll even say some of the gadgets and rings are nice to look at. The rings have some nice good green screens whenever a character gets transported, and there's like a variety of gadgets Robotnik uses with some great special effects from his lair. And I had to admit, the action scenes are enjoyable to watch. Whenever Sonic goes fast or they have a car chase, it can lead to some good gags. In a way, the visuals are the ones that respect the original source material, including the gameplay elements like with the Sonic Dash or whenever he gets hit, he loses his rings. However, there is still one thing that was missing from this movie. Do you know what it is? That's right, writing an original script. Even though the visuals are the saving grace for the movie, they don't make up for the plot of the movie. It's just your typical story where a character from Earth interacts with this one character from another world where they form a friendship with a goal of saving the otherworldly character from danger. You can predict what is going to happen between them and how they're going to resolve everything. And since this is a buddy road trip comedy movie, the humor is a mixed bag. There are a few funny jokes, but they fall flat and contain some unnecessary pop cultural references. It can happen where they make references to the games, but those moments are pretty rare. It doesn't help either that the characters on Earth are barely characters worth remembering. You got Tom who's just the bland protagonist that wants to be a somebody in the police force. I know a lot of people are comparing this movie to Illumination's Hop because it stars James Marsden talking to a CGI character, 
But allow me to address another cliche this movie copy from, and they are the Smurfs, The Adventures of Rocky and Bullwinkle, Masters of the Universe, and Howard the Duck. Let me explain. You have a plot where a popular fictional character or characters come to our world befriending some human characters, and they have a goal to save the Earth or sometimes both their worlds from their arch enemies. I'm not saying that the Sonic movie reaches the levels of those movies, but it just follows the same structure as those movies. There's just really nothing on Earth we really want to see Sonic interact with. And yes, I know he already did something like this in Sonic X, but at least the human characters he and his friends met have nice collaborations and unique personalities, character traits, and even story arcs. Maybe there were a few entertaining moments during his road trip, but Tom or anyone from his town are so forgettable. The only exception is Dr. Robotnik. He is the best character of the movie. You can tell Jim Carrey was having a great time playing the villain and unleashing his cartoony nature. And I also like how the people who hire him to capture Sonic pretends that Robotnik doesn't exist. It's almost like they clearly know he doesn't belong on Earth, but in Sonic's world. When it comes to Sonic himself, there's really not much to talk about him. He's still in character being the smart Alec that wants to have friends. But because this movie only has Sonic and Robotnik, the only Sonic the Hedgehog characters, there's not a lot of references to the games or the franchises. The only exception is the real Green Hill Zone from Sonic's World. It's the only location that's actually based on a Sonic level. And the only video game character that does appear besides our two main leans only appears at the end of the movie for sequel bait. So the only thing I can say about this film is just... It exists! The Sonic the Hedgehog movie is just an okay movie. It gave me some cool acting scenes, a much better design, Jim Carrey is an entertaining villain, and they stay true to the source material. But aside from that, it's not much. The story is still unoriginal, and anyone that is not Sonic or Robotnik will be forgettable faster than you can say Chaos Control. I only recommend those who really want to see a Sonic movie. Casual and non-fans can wait until they can rent it. You're really not missing anything. Did it bring back the video game movie curse? Absolutely not. But I am happy that this hedgehog is getting some appreciation from his fans and box office. I'm gonna give the Sonic movie a C. I know some might be disappointed that I didn't give this movie a higher grade, and I know it's more appealing towards the huge Sonic fans, and I shouldn't expect it to be an Oscar-worthy movie, but I did try looking at it as a fun movie. It did give me some good moments, it just didn't win me over that much. If you love the Sonic movie, that's great! More power to you. Just continue watching it. Just remember that this Sonic movie might not win over everybody. And remember, even though the set curse is lifted, the medicine is still spreading slowly. The more it rises, the more upcoming movies there will be based on a video game, and they will be entertaining and even better than the Sonic or Pokemon movies. In other words, we still got a lot of missions to do before we reach the next level. I'm Matt Harry Patrick. Now if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go fishing with a big cat and his pet frog. Hey guys, did this sometimes bother you? I like the Lego Ninjago movie. Space Jam was funny. Man of Steel is an awesome Superman movie. Trolls is overrated. Hotel Transylvania 2 is so pretentious. And they're okay. Those things they said are called opinions. A personal thought a person feels after seeing the movie. So if there's ever a movie that you like but they hate or the other way around it, don't let it get to you. Remember, an opinion is neither a right nor a wrong answer. Just enjoy the movies that you like and let them enjoy the movies that they like. It's really hard to accept personal opinions, so always take a deep breath and continue watching your favorite movie with your family or your friends. You want to watch Spider-Man Homecoming? Yeah, let's do it. Sonic, he can really move. Sonic, he's got an attitude. Sonic.
Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed this, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe me for a new review and other project every week. I'll see you soon.